This week on Archer's Choice. We are still out west. I still have an elk tag and a bear tag, and he has a bear tag, so we've got lots to go on. We still have a few more days. I might have an opportunity to bear. Wouldn't that be awesome? Go west, young men and women. He's a big fan. What do you say? We let the beam and fly. Wait, get him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, we are still out west in Colorado. C O L O R A D O. Are you sure? I think you missed a lot. I'm not going to spell Saskatchewan, I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I could. But, anyways, this is part two. Last week, <laughs> we let the beam and fly, and my Hoyt hit him where it hurts. We got fresh milk. Oh, look at this. Here's my knock. All right, a breadcrumb knock. Turned it off. All the way up here. There he lies. Right there, buddy. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Lord. What do you say? We're up here with Fred and Michelle, full draw outfitters. Well, lo and behold, our first opportunity. We, we counted, it's a legal bull. We let that beam and fly and that beam and flew and this bull is down less than 75 yards from where we shot him. You got a beautiful elk. Thank you Filled very much. Fill the freezer up. We have wonderful elk meat for Oh yeah, we do. It's pretty exciting, but there's still- I, I filled my tag. You, you, yes, you did fill your tag. I yes. still have an elk tag and a bear tag and he has a bear tag. So we've got lots to go on. Yes, we Full do. Full draw outfitter, Fred and Michelle's, our little piece of heaven out west. Go west, young men and women. There you go. And so, even older men and women. <laughs> are you good? Yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. We're gonna set up a spy point here and see possibly if we could find a, get a bear hitting on it. We still have a few more days. I might have an opportunity at a bear. Wouldn't that be awesome? And by all legalities, right. and all, you know, don't just judge it by Colorado. If you're gonna go hunt another state, Find out all your regs because each one, each state could be totally different. A province could be different. So you want to make sure right. that you know exactly what you're doing. Right. What's legal and what's not. Yep. So where that elk carcass was left, I mean, we took everything we physically As long as you don't move it, it. We didn't you move it. Yep. And we stuck a spy point camera up. Yep. So we Just could see what was coming in. Told us a bear was on it right away. Okay, there he is. Here he comes. Coming from the right. You see him out there? We've always said be adaptable. We went right back to the water hole because we know they got a drink. And we know that, I mean, this water hole has been really active. Oh, you know, so right at dark, still legal, you know what right. I mean? Bears, bear comes in. I look at Terry, Terry goes, too dark. Too dark. Hmm. Did you draw back? I, I think I was a. Were you? Well, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm all. Right. I'm, You're always ready. I, mean, I get I'm, that. I'm always, yeah, ready. always ready. I am like ready. a machine. Well, you know what? The, here's the thing: is when you're filming, a lot of times the cameras aren't. I mean, we lose light usually 30 minutes before actual the end of shooting light. So it does happen quite often when we're hunting too that dark. the camera guy is going to tell you that it's too dark. Yes. Yeah. Mm. No, I want to. Let me re reiterate that. Terry goes. Too dark. So then, yeah, we get back, and and the guys, Andrew we, and the guys, we, are we like, view the footage. yeah, yeah, and they're they're saying, Ralph, why didn't you shoot? Yeah, this is why it's always the cameraman's fault. I'm just saying, this is why. I'm watching you, Terry. This, <laughs> I'm just watching you. I just want you to know. If you ever you know, say, 
It's too dark again. I'm shooting. The bear, right? The bear. Well, you never know. It happens. It's okay. <laughs> Stop already. You weirdo. <laughs> We had four bulls in here for about three hours one day, just playing. Good. They went in the blind, so. But yeah, it's a comfy blind, so it's one of them ones you can sit all day. And yeah. just, just drop down. On the other side. Just come in drinking. Exactly. I'll come another play in a while. So it's just a really easy spot to be able to run around to. And we can actually drive up to that next one again. So you can really get good at cutting them. And that's how we, we'll gang set a lot. So we'll have one guy cut them and we can come around and cut them with another client if we have to and get them in two spots. So, and we'll just drive all these roads so you've got them on your map and then you can yep. look when you see them going up and you can work out what, where you want to get to to cut them again. Gotcha. But this is definitely a good one. If they're just slowly going up that draw, this is a good spot yeah. to cut them. But they'll use this draw and come around. So. Are they going to use this or are they going to be on the other side? They come and graze in here, okay. but mainly if they're off that, they're coming up to bed. You can drop down into there and call them straight down to you. Yeah, because your wind's going to be coming this Exactly, way. exactly. Let them get past you first and then bring them across. Don't get them too early. Yep. Right. Otherwise, if you're going to have someone calling for you, get them down there. Get them down low and call from up high. So when they're coming across the field, they're going to curl to try and cut you in. Your client's already down there or you're already down there. So. And they won't they'll know what's going on until they're done. So. Look at my cameraman. Films and on his phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's doing selfies. Selfie. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> I took a selfie once. Once. <laughs> once. once. All right, I marked this one out. Yeah. Uh, turn around, let me show you something. That is tonight's objective. Here in Colorado, full draw outfitters, Fred Michelle Eichler. You know, a lot of variables come into elks, and whether you're in post, pre-rut, you, whether you're in the rut. Boy, if those temperatures change, and if it's dry, it could make it for a very difficult situation depending on the terrain and where you're hunting. Right, we'd go out, we wouldn't make any calls, we would just get set up thinking where we saw them last. Or trying to or listen trying for to them. Or trying to listen for them, you know, and if we did hear a bugle, which the one day we heard a bugle, right. and we end up going down towards them, and you know, they just, they weren't reacting back to it. You know, there are times that, listen, no matter what you do, it ain't working. You could get too aggressive. You know, yep. they just may not be in that. You might be on, the, on you know, sort of on that post rut. He's been run down, he's tired, he's been doing a ton of breeding, or vice versa. You, you know what I mean? It doesn't, what you gotta do is, again, you've gotta be adaptable. And, and sometimes it's gonna work, sometimes it's not. And I mean, we're dealing with one of the biggest droughts they've had Horrible. in years. So it's gonna be a water thing, and the action's really pretty slow. You know, and there's another good thing, using your trail cameras, and there's gonna be certain pictures that you'll see these elk, and you'll notice that they were wallowing. Right. That tells you that there's water there. In these warm, dry situations, boy, pinpoint, pinpoint those little hot spots because they will pay big dividends for you.
Well, he's, he's about to roll down the hill on me. Um, beautiful, we're here in Colorado. I filled my first ever lower 48 United States bear, black bear tag. I'm pretty excited about this. I can hear Ralph up there right now. Beautiful chocolate Colorado black bear. I mean, this is, this is awesome. I've never done this before. Oh, this is Yeah. Isn't he beautiful? Look at his pads though. Yep. Aren't they pretty? Very. <laughs> very, very. He's he is a beautiful bear. That's a heck of a good bear. He's a beautiful bear. I mean, that nice little chocolate color to him and everything. I it think what it, it boils down to again, water. Everybody yeah. talks about everything else. Water is the key is the key, especially when that warm weather hits those yep. droughts and everything. Man, if you got water, you got everything. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. We've been very blessed to hunt a lot of bears. We have. Yet, this is your first lower 48 yeah, bear. It's my first That's lower so 48 cool. bear. I've shot a mm. bunch of bears up in Canada and in yep. Alaska, but I've never shot a bear in the lower 48. So until that was now, kinda, until now, which was really kind of cool. And he's a beautiful bear, oh. beautiful chocolate bear. I mean, just he. I can't. He'll look good him. in the cabin. Yeah, he's just beautiful, you know. Yes. And the thing is, is that once we shot him, we knew that because of the regulations, right. I needed to contact the game warden right away. Yep. Let him know what's going on, and I have to have that hide and the and the skull sealed within the in five days. So again, you know, and why do we keep reiterating this? We just want you all to be prepared. If you start doing a lot of these traveling, please check out the regs. It's real easy to do. Go online. You know, I mean, you get all this. And Bob was right. Was he incredible? So, so Bob Holder was oh is our my local game gosh. warden, and he came out. He came right to the cabin, and he went through everything and explained everything to us because. We had never had to deal with anything nope. like that. Age. And he's pretty. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, he's just a beautiful, beautiful bear. And that's off the video? Yeah, that's he's, actually off the, yeah. We film in 4K. <laughs> and so that's actually. You can actually take stills off of any frame. Yeah, and the that's guys actually know off, that. a picture it's off of the computer beautiful. screen. So we can God, actually get a better, gorgeous, yeah. Man. Here's a, that's Oops. gorgeous. I'm looking for lip tattoos here. 
Oh, oh really? Right. And we put them back in here. Really? Above the, you know, so it's not in yeah. this, yeah. not in the fat of that lip, but back in here. This bear's never been <laughs> caught. Never been caught, no. Uh -uh. He has now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now that's a gorgeous bear. Yeah. Gorgeous bear. And even looking at the feet puts him at a four-year-old. I mean, they get... Yeah, he's got some pretty yeah. nice paws he's got on him. Good feet. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you again. That's fantastic. I really appreciate it. Thanks you for betcha. coming out. This is actually my first bear I shot Oh, is state. it really? I've shot a pile of bears in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Springtime, never shot one yeah, in the state. Yeah. This is the tooth I'm looking for right here. Oh, okay. Okay, that yep. little premolar. We don't take the canine. Okay. And in the spring, you come back and look under this seal number. Okay. Look yeah. under that seal number, and it'll tell you exactly how old that bear is. Awesome. We can give you a range, but that'll tell you exactly. So. Awesome. Ooh, that reminds me. I need to research that. I think he told me that I could go ahead and see how old that bear was. Squirrel moment. Totally a squirrel moment. You actually kind of make my teeth hurt. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly what we need right here. You see that droot coming out? Yep. That would, they really? would take the very tip of that, the very tip of that tooth to get that age, to get okay. those rings, okay? Yeah. If I hadn't got that right there, if it had broken or something, then we would the have side. to go to the other side, exactly. Oh, look at that tool. Yeah, he actually just took the whole tooth and the root out with it. I need them. I can work on your teeth. No, no, you I'm good. I'm, I'm really good. No, I, it's no, seriously. He was complaining about a toothache No, back it's here. okay. Maybe we could go ahead and dig into we'll it. I don't have canines that size. I'm trying to pick up a little extra here. So. <laughs> on the side. Yeah. What's going on on the side? You know, I got to tell you something. Meeting Bob, mm -hmm. and I mean, wow, this guy's done it for 40 plus years. He has seen it from day one. I mean, it's just been incredible. And to just have him there, and I mean, we were laughing. We were laughing, learning, and laughing again. And I mean, we just can't thank you enough. Get to know your game wardens. Be transparent with them. And I'm going to yep. tell you something. The rewards will be twofold. Well, so, I mean, we had a great trip out there in Colorado. We really did. We Fred, did. Michelle, everybody, you know, thanks for helping us out, you know, showing us, giving us ideas where to go. I, I mean... That is what hunting is all about. The camaraderie, all the laughs, all, I mean, the cries, the ups and the downs. And I mean, that was really... Did you cry? Well, I did. When did you cry? I did. When were you crying? I don't when know. we were leaving. Oh, oh I was going to say, Thinking oh, I, that, I thought wow, maybe when we were trying to bring that bear back up from the bottom of that canyon. No, I didn't cry. Oh, okay. I did get that out there for you, though. You did. Yes, yeah. Did. He, he kind of ran the wrong way. Yep, he did. Yeah, it was bad. But hey, Not notice, got him. Did you notice where my bull went? Yeah. He went and I told him, you know, d just drop so yeah. we can get get him. Yeah. Is that what you told him? I did. Oh. It was a mental telepathy. It's it was like a male to male Dr. thing. Dr. Doolittle over here? I was Are you like, kidding me? I was like, before I shoot you, don't run down the mountain. And then I released. So, wrap it up. We got a nice bull elk. She got a great bear and, well... We're heading home. Yeah, so Fred, Michelle, Full Draw Outfitters, thank you guys so much for helping us out, giving yes. us some points and some tips on what to do. Where to go? Not necessarily where to go, unless you want to tell him where to go. Yeah, but I we think Fred told me where to go a couple times. I'm pretty sure he did. We yes. want to thank you guys for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. He really told you where to go? Oh, he every time I talked to him. Then that $20 I gave him worked. Did you follow his directions? I'm just asking. I mean, I thought maybe, you know, Fred, thanks. Appreciate it.